So we are today at Shoreham again. I haven't been here for a while. So welcome back to Target Fishing. Predominantly today, we're going to try and catch some bass. So we've got a few different types of lures. Oh, six o'clock in the morning, low tide. Quite a big tide today. Uh, just going to paddle around and see what's what really. I think there could be some tope out here as well. I seem to be getting them all the way along Goring, so we're not that far from Goring. I know the ground's slightly different, but. We'll see when we get out there. But to be fair, it's just lovely to be out. It really is. It's a nice calm day. It's gonna rough up about, I think about one o'clock, so. I was going to launch from the beach, but I decided to fish a bit later, trying to land back on the beach when it's rough is a bit tricky. So, hopefully, you know, if it does rough up, we'll come back in here. This is exactly the same in here. You know, it's so, my plan today is to tow lures all the way out to the wreck, about two mile out, and then basically do a triangle. There's a reef over by the Church of the Good Shepherd. So I'll then tow lures back to there. I'll probably fish around the wreck and anchor for a bit. If it's not so choppy. So we can take some bass on live baits. And then, um, yeah, tow lures back to the Church of the Good Shepherd. There's a nice little bit of reefy ground. A little peninsula. So I like to tow the lures now, so I'll give that a go. And then, um, just tow back along the beach, back towards the harbour. So like a big triangle we're going to do today. Probably going to paddle about six miles, I would imagine. Five, six miles. The aim really today is to get two bass for the table. I've had my orders put in. Barbecue tomorrow with the family. A couple of nice fresh sea bass. That would be lovely. They're too big, I won't take them. Then that's a nice problem to have, isn't it? The fish is around about three pounds. It's perfect. Right, it's a lure. So the lure we're using today, I'm going to try on this side of the kite. I'm going to try the Savage Gear Sand Hill in a natural pattern. It's kind of like an olive green, uh, 19 gram jig head, 20 pound fluorocarbon, 15 pound. Uh, braid. This is really my perchy sort of rod, but it's perfect for this. Nice calm days, it's absolutely perfect. So it just wears it out. Sort of 40 yards that way. Paddle a bit, get going. I've got a mackerel rod set up as well, just so when we're out of the wreck, hopefully we'll be able to catch some. Uh, Catch a mackerel for life, mate. Well, there's that one on that side. On the other side, I think what I'll do is I'll put a, a shallow diving plug. So it's going to dive about sort of four or five foot. It's not really shallow, but it's just below the surface, so if there's anything in that water sort of column. Paddling out to the wreck, I can just see loads of fish on the top here. Let's see what they are. Let's see what they are. Hopefully, bass. Could be mackerel. Oh, little bump there. I think they're mackerel. They're all around though. I think they're small. They're small bass. The weed. Let's 
as quick as they start smashing out the bait fish, they're gone. Keep this lure in the boat just in case. See him again. Last two of them. Plug out the back. A mat of fish. Just lost one. Go back round again. I don't know what they are though. The bass. I think they would have smashed that. Absolutely smash that lure. You never know. You've got to match the hatch, haven't you? Let's go around again. Do it in real time. It looks like there's a lot of fish on it. Or a lot of bait fish. Which is a good thing. Oh my god, it's absolutely teeming. I haven't seen it like this for a couple of, a couple of years now. Yeah, I can see fish there. Yeah, in. What's that? Yes, I mean, they've got to be bass, are not they? Small bass. Oh, that pound. Oh, that's not so good, is it? <laughs> Getting pouted to death. Mind you, there's pout there. There's going to be other predatory fish down there. Get into them. Well, at least we haven't blanked. Rex over there. Let's have it. Let's reel this lot right through. See how we get on. Gotta be bass there. Gotta be. So we're now anchored up on the wreck after just catching a few pout on that. I've just um, gone up tide and just drifted back, catching a few mackerel. I've got one live on, on this rod. Uh, so the wreck's probably 50 yards down that way. So he'll just be swimming just, I guess, just west of the wreck. And uh, hopefully something will pick it up. I mean, it seems like it's a hell of a lot of fish on the sounder. But I think a lot of them are pout and probably bait fish, which the macro are going for. So on this rod, I'm literally going to put macro head and guts. Let's see what that does. Probably likely to pick up the congo at all. Guts. It's one of my favourite bass bases. 
certainly off the shore. In the autumn. And that's it on a panel rig. Nice flowing trace, about four foot. Go longer if you want. Just going to give it a little chuck just to get it away from the other line. We'll let that drop back down in the tide. And you know, obviously rays and that will pick that up as well and congas. So we'll see what happens. Let's clear this mess up. Green down there. A couple now that are both keepers. Keeping the net for a bit, much cheaper. About a pound and a half each. Good fun on the old light gear.
So not a very productive day, not a very productive video to be fair, but um, you know we we tried for bass, we couldn't get bass, the towing the lures out to the wreck and back to the beach was just an absolute nightmare. Every every two or three minutes you had to stop and unclog the lures because of the uh, the, the weed that was kind of clogged around the lure or, or the the knot between the braid and the fluorocarbon so it was a bit of a nightmare really and the, the, I just really didn't have the confidence in the lure fishing effectively but I mean you know as soon as we got to the wreck the amount of fish shown on the sound that I, I would have I would have put money on we'd be able to get bass but um, it just wasn't meant to be there were clearly other fish there um, and I think I think there was tote there I'm pretty sure there was tote there and maybe that's why the fish were higher in the water on the sound there and and uh, there was a hell of a lot of bait fish in the water but um, yeah, the three times I got bitten off I got bitten off cleanly and then obviously that mackerel was bitten half I don't think a, a conger eel could do that so um, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's either a tope or I mean, very unlikely to be a threshold be it they have been there before I've seen them out on that wreck so um, you never know but I would assume it's a tope I mean I had the fish on felt like a tope uh, didn't have it hooked clearly, but um, yeah, a couple of times I had decent fish on and um, bitten off every time, or, or the bait's bitten in half. So yeah, it's uh, it's one of those videos where it's not very productive, but it just goes to show it's fishing, isn't it? So yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Stay safe. Please like and subscribe. I will get back to you if you leave a comment. Um, so yeah, thank you.